As great an achievement as winning the Nobel Prize is, I think there are a lot of people who have won it who are not household names. With Nash, his personal story, I think, as much as winning the prize, is what brought him to large public recognition with the Academy Award winning film, The Beautiful Mind. We have the Nobel Prize awarded to John Forbes Nash in Economic Sciences in 1994. What attracted him about mathematics wasn't necessarily the application, it was pure mathematics. He started to develop an interest in game theory. Game theory itself was in its infancy and mostly focused on so-called zero-sum games where there's a winner and a loser. He took it to non-competitive games where everyone could achieve their ideal outcome at the same time. He was able to quantify that and it has had applications far beyond anything that he could have imagined at the time. The prize was awarded in 1994, but it was actually for work that Nash had done more than four decades earlier when he was a graduate student at Princeton. He attended Carnegie Mellon on a full Westinghouse scholarship. He was given brilliant letters of recommendation from his professors to go to Princeton, one of which said, in essence, Mr. Nash is graduating in May. He is a mathematical genius end of letter. It looked like he had a brilliant career ahead of him. But suddenly, in 1959, he began to have delusions that were schizophrenic or paranoid schizophrenia. For three decades, he wandered the campus of Princeton University. He had been divorced from his wife. He easily could have been completely forgotten but something inside of him kept him going. The reconciliation with his wife certainly helped him. And gradually over time, after he stopped traditional treatment, he felt himself coming back to rational thought. In the intervening time, his work had burgeoned. People were always referring to Nash, many of them thinking he was dead. The awarding of the Nobel Prize, he later said, was a resurrection. What we're selling here includes the gold medal that was presented to him by the King of Sweden, together with a hand calligraph, a diploma with an original watercolor. When you see this medal, if you're lucky enough to hold it, when you see the diploma, what these items are, are a tangible representation of his life. It's all a distillation of everything that Nash achieved and endured. <laughs>